Hi, I'm Holly Andrews, Integrative Nutrition Health Coach and Executive Wellness Coach. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the kitchen. Today, I want to share with you my amazing Autumn Harvest Nourish Bowl. Now, we've talked about Nourish Bowls in the past. You can go back and maybe watch the one that I did during the summer with summer vegetables and a little light. It was airy. Today, we're going to be turning a Nourish Bowl into the flavors of fall and yet still pack it with nutrient-dense, vitamin, mineral-rich ingredients that are not only going to be satisfying, but feed your gut and keep your body not only healthy, but happy this fall season. So let's dive in. All right, this Nourish Bowl is going to start with, I have organic red lentils that I've already cooked and cooled, just for the sake of time here, but the lentils are full of protein and great carbs that are going to really keep you satisfied. Now, I will be adding some chicken at the end of this to mine, but if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you certainly don't have to. The lentils provide a great source of protein. So follow the instructions on your package to cook your lentils. Mine took about 10 minutes total, and then like I said, I drained them and cooled them, so they are ready to go. I also have a cup of kale that has been chopped and massaged down with a little bit of olive oil and just a smidge of lemon juice. Again, you can buy chopped kale from the grocery store already done for you. I did chop my own and massage it down, but you do want to massage it down with a little bit of olive oil or lemon juice or something to get rid of any potential bitter taste that you have. But kale is a nutrient powerhouse packed with vitamins A, C, and K, and a ton of fiber, which is great for our digestion and gut health. But this salad does serve four. If it, you're serving it as a main dish, if you're serving it as a side dish, then you're looking at about six servings. Now that we have our lentils and our kale, I'm going to dice up an apple. This happens to be a Fuji apple. So we're bringing in the nice uh, fall fruit that is in season right now. Grab yourself some from your local farmer's markets and add them. They are full of fiber, which again, our Zach needs for overall gut health. It's what feeds our microbiome and keeps our mitochondria, so our cells at the cellular level, super happy. And it also has the, well, the fiber is pectin in this case. So again, just a wonderful adding addition to the Nourish Bowl for that fiber as well as the fall flavors and the really nice crisp bite. Okay, almost done. This is the one thing I kind of didn't pre-do here, but it does not take all that down. Like, all right, so that is our apple. Okay, now we're gonna be adding some fun toppings. I have these wonderful fun toppings, to be honest thing. So we're going to be adding some dried cranberries that are gonna give us that kind of tart, sweet contrast plus antioxidants. Uh, I have some walnut pieces you can toast these if you want to for an additional layer of flavor. I chose not to today, but they are lo loaded with omega-3 fatty acids to support our brain health. And then I'm adding a quarter, cum a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds for magnesium and zinc, both of which help boost our immune system, which we need right now in this season. So that is our Nourish Bowl as is. Now, like I said, I am going to be adding some chicken in here, but, and we have a dressing to make. So let's go ahead and make our dressing. All right. So, you know, I love my little mason jars to make dressings. This is going to be a wonderful, like yummy addition to our nourish bowl. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of olive oil in here then I'm going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Um, make sure that you get raw 
apple cider vinegar here with the mother. And this happens to be organic that I picked up from a local shop here in town. But just try to get raw with the mother. And then for a little bit of sweetness, we're gonna put in a little bit of maple syrup. The recipe calls for a tablespoon. I'm not gonna do a full tablespoon. And then we need one teaspoon of Dijon mustard here. Okay, so now we're going to shake this all up and I'm going to go get the chicken. All right, that chicken is steaming. It just came out of the slow cooker. I roasted a whole chicken today in the slow cooker. All right, so I just poured my dressing on top of the nourish bowl. I'm gonna toss this all together. Oh, guys, this looks, doesn't that just look beautiful? It smells really good too with the dressing. See those cranberries and the walnut pieces and the apples and the pumpkin seeds. This is just going to make not only your mouth happy, but your gut happy as well. Okay, so I am going to portion out a piece, some of this into my bowl so that I can then add my chicken onto that. Okay. Make sure I get everything. I don't want to miss a bite of this because it looks so good. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to be eating on this all week long. It's amazing. Okay. All right. So now I have my chicken. I'm probably going to use about half of this breast here. It's so tender. Oh my goodness. And then next week, you're gonna get to see what I do with the chicken. Or I should say, the remnants of the chicken. So this is just falling apart. But you may notice that the chicken looks yellow. That is because I put turmeric, among other spices, on the chicken when I put it in the slow cooker. So again, more of those anti-inflammatory properties and that is my nourish bowl. That is my dinner tonight, guys. Doesn't that look amazing? So until next time, I hope you enjoy this recipe. You know, try it out, make it your own. If you don't like the lentils, use quinoa or brown rice or another kind of whole grain that you do like. If you're not into apples, pears are a great substitute. They're wonderfully in season right now and would be a great substitute in this recipe. So, you know, play around with it and make it your own and make it something that you will love and enjoy this fall season. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I believe that you can heal your stress from the inside out.